Another way to connect to the KVM is via the serial connection. We use this connection method for troubleshooting or when users are developing their own custom applications. You can also use terminal programs like ComWatch or Realterm to send switching commands. And there's a PDF of the hex strings that's included inside the API folder of the control package that you downloaded earlier. Today, we're going to keep things super simple and just use TSmart's native control application. It makes RS-232 so easy because it automatically defaults to the correct COM port, baud rate, and has the right stop bits. To make the connection, we're going to use Avico's USB-C to RS-232 cable right here. And then another cable, which is RS-232 to this 3-pin Phoenix connector. Let's go ahead and connect this to the laptop. Do our USB-C. Oh, one quick note is this HDMI is actually not connected to the KVM. It's going to our screen capture software, and this is just power. All right, so we have our USB-C to RS-232. Going to marry these. Now let's take our 3-pin connector here and plug it into the back of the KVM. All right. Now, one thing that's really important is you want to make this connection first before you open up the control application. Let's go and do controller.exe. Now you can see it's already defaulted here to serial control and COM3. We hit connect, and it's that easy. Let's do a quick switch. Let's do a PC10, which is going to put a Mario Kart, so everything is working just fine. One of the really cool things about having an RS-232 connection is that you can query the KVM's IP in the Settings tab. So if we come over here, you'll notice that the IP is showing the default IP. But if we query it, we can see that the static IP that we programmed earlier. So this is a really good way to troubleshoot any IP issues that you may have. And we go over all this in the networking and troubleshooting video that we made. All right, we're going to go ahead and break this down. And we're going to add some speakers, some extra monitors, and an extender. We'll be right back. 